congratulations, future Asheville aficionado. You've reached the precipice of the life-altering decision on whether to live in Asheville, North Carolina or not. So with its blend of culture and crafts and all the good things of life and mountains and scenery and all the things, it looks like it's straight out of a travel brochure, but is it really real? You should probably visit us and figure it out if it's like true what I'm saying or not. So to make sure you're not about to move to a town where everybody communicates exclusively through interpretive dance, let's embark on your Asheville homework adventure. Hi, I'm Bess Shadler, and we are Living in Asheville, where we explore what it's like to live, eat, work, sleep, play in Asheville, North Carolina, and the surrounding mountain towns. I have a real estate business here, and it's our absolute passion and pleasure to help people move to the area. So if you're considering it, please reach out via email or text or carrier pigeon, whatever's good for you, and we would be glad to create a personalized plan for you. And if you're interested just in the Asheville area, in general, then hit that subscribe button, click that little bell, then you'll be alerted every time we make a new video for you. So let's get started. What should you do when checking out Asheville to decide if you wanna move here or not? What should your homework be? So your Asheville journey begins at the visitor center. Well, you'll receive a really, really large map, big enough to double as a makeshift parachute in case you decide to leap headfirst into moving to Asheville, haha. -ha. Actually, it's two maps that divides the city into north and south sides, and it's really wonderfully detailed. And here you can even see individual neighborhoods and highlight the ones that you really like or cross the ones off that you don't like. I know it's a little old school, but, and this probably dates me a little bit, but for me being 45 years old and remembering the good old days of maps, I like to see it all laid out in front of me. And there's like this nostalgia that comes with like a pen and a highlighter. And also this will give you a larger scope of where you wanna visit and how far things are away from one another and options of areas nearby near Asheville that could also be an option for you. So it will highlight the city limits as well, which can be useful when considering um, the different taxes or permits for short-term rentals too. So super useful. Plus the people who work at the visitor center are incredibly friendly and you can ask them all different kinds of questions and they are ecstatic to help you. It's easy to get to, it's easy to park, it's easy to pick up a ton of brochures on things to do or book tours there as well. I know it sounds a little funny to hit the visitor center first thing when considering uh, what it's like to live like local here in Asheville, but it really is a good foundation to begin your research. Because, hey, as of this moment, you fit the bill as a visitor until, you know, we take you through the initiation process, which really involves less hazing and more hugging. So now that you have your map and a few odd looks from passerbys, so don't walk with a map, that's not a good idea. <laughs> So this is for your home base hotel room research, right? So it's time to now wander around downtown Asheville and kind of think of it as a choose your own adventure. You know, where you've been constantly torn between artisanal ice cream and handmade soap or a particular street performance involving a mime, a snake handler and a trombone. Or you may even see a nun on a unicycle. What? Don't worry. We didn't dose the nun. They are just part of a big purple bus called the Zoom, which is a hilarious comedy tour ride through downtown Asheville. And it talks about the historic parts of Asheville. It not only makes you belly laugh, but it really gives you a lot of information about the area and the history of the area. It's one of my favorite things to do uh, when people come to town and visit. So I've probably been on the Zoom maybe 30 times or more and there are Halloween shows and adult shows, like really kind of adult shows and their kid shows and special events where they'll bring a band on the bus and play some music while you tour around Asheville. It's super fun. Okay, back to downtown. So walk around, feel the sunshine on your shoulders, have a coffee and a pastry at Old Europe, browse the boutiques and enjoy the quirky artsy vibe of this historic area. So go check out Woolworths and, there, and go have a milkshake at the old soda fountain there. It'll be like a blast from the past. 
and wander through the Mass General store, maybe get some candy there, or get outfitted for your nature adventure that's coming up in the next day or two, and just delight in the downtown area by people watching. There are all kinds of people in downtown Asheville. So sit at an outdoor table at a restaurant at the Grove Arcade and watch the world go by. You could visit the art museum or the science museum. Just take your time and get lost and enjoy. So now that you're all geared up for your nature adventure, it's time to get out in nature. And Asheville boasts more trees and mountains and landscapes than you can shake a stick at. So head to a nearby park, take a hike, snap a selfie with a waterfall behind you and try not to be outperformed by the residential uh, squirrels parkour skills. This is exactly why people want to live here, not for the squirrels, but the proximity to the abundance of nature. So go out and be a part of it as your Asheville experience. Hit up a greenway, ride a bike, get outside. There are a million ways to do it depending on the season and your preference. You could go rafting on the French Broad River, or you can even rent a tube and go down it, or check out the land of the waterfalls, or even slide down one of them into a cold plunge at the end at Sliding Rock, or hike in Pis Pisgah National Forest. You can experience some of the best mountain biking in the nation right here in Bent Creek. Or if you're into climbing, scramble up some boulders nearby. You could take in a hot air balloon ride and soar above, taking in all the beauty of the region at once. Or you can pick blueberries in the wild along thousands of hiking trails. Or you could zip through the canopies of the Blue Ridge Mountains, flying through the air and feeling so alive, you will never forget the experience. So your key to fitting in in Asheville like a pro, but really who cares about fitting in, is to become a master at beer trivia. Yes, beer trivia. For instance, did you know that Asheville has more breweries per capita than anywhere else in the United States? That's right, you're moving to a city where everyone is a beer connoisseur and they're happy about it. So why did all these breweries decide to call Asheville home? Well, the word on the street is it's the quality of the water here. That's right, somehow we have the perfect balance of water conditions to craft the most delicious and beautiful conditions for the perfect beer that you could absolutely imagine. And people are gonna try them all. <laughs> but we also have vineyards and, and wineries and grapes grow easily here. So you can see the wide display on the Biltmore Estate and their vast vines that span acres and acres. And we not only like to taste the flavors of the beer and the wine, but we also have distilleries that make tequila and rum and vodka and whiskey. We have almost anything you can imagine, depending on your taste. But beyond the city limits of Asheville, there are lots of little charming towns that are nearby. So don't miss them as they're part of the overall Asheville experience. So venture out to neighboring towns and marvel at their unique, quirky atmosphere that makes them them and walk the main streets of places like Weaverville or Black Mountain or Hendersonville. Visit the little lakes that are nearby and take a stroll around them. Have a latte and notice what makes these little towns different from one another or from Asheville, or maybe even special, and you might even find a hidden gem on the outskirts of Asheville that feels more like home. So Asheville prides itself on its events, from music and arts festivals to bizarre gatherings celebrating uh, the mating habits of fireflies. Yes, it's true, synchronized fireflies. This city has it all. So when you arrive, grab a copy of the Mountain Express. It's a free newspaper that's here. And you can check out all the event details and what's happening. So you're not a true Ashevillian until you have hula hooped at the drum circle. Just kidding, you, can, <laughs> you don't have to do that. We'll let you in as a spectator for the first couple of times. But then, Try to catch this Friday night downtown event and see if you can find your groove. It's quite fun. Every day there are interesting things happening all over the city. And whether there's a show with your favorite musician or local band, or there's an art opening or a class on sustainable living, or yoga in the park, or a farmer's market, all the things all the time happen here daily. So get to know them, experience them, and find your people, they're here. And then you have to go on the Great Neighborhood Safari. So hop in your trusty chariot and cruise through the neighborhoods that you've already been scoping out and stalking online. 
park, get out of your car and stroll around, wave at the neighbors, pet their dogs, and ask more questions than a four-year-old on a sugar rush. The goal is to see yourself sipping coffee or kombucha or whatever you're into on a front porch and waving to that neighbor every day as they walk by. And what does it feel like? How could you imagine that being? I find that most people have the most benefit by, uh, by doing this and not getting fixated exactly on finding the right house that they forget that th there's an overall feeling of living in Asheville and being in a certain neighborhood and that the house will appear. I find that most people have the most benefit by doing this because it's so easy to get fixated on finding the house that they forget to find the feeling. And at the end of the day, it's the experience of living here as well as the four walls that surround you holistically to add up to the high quality of life. And that's the goal, right? And in addition, the homes that you would tour right now will definitely not be on the market when you're ready to actually buy. Because unless you just come to Asheville and, is, and immediately d d make a decision and be like, I'm doing it, I'm moving here, this is it, this is all the end of the road, which you probably won't do because <laughs> you're doing your research, right? So as of right now, the median days on the market is 10 days, meaning that when a house is listed on the MLS, the time it goes under contract with a ready, willing, and able buyer is around 10 days which even to me seems like a little long in my professional perspective. If a house is in a preferable area and is updated and is ready to go and priced correctly, it would normally have a buyer that has secured that home via contract in about three to four days. I don't want that to stress you out. All you have to do is be ready to go and I help prepare to get you to that point and in that process. So don't worry about it, we got you. The best way to get an idea of your affordability is to look online. So scout out the areas that interest you the most. Do your research, walk around, and then look at the virtual home tours online. And then talk to a lender if you're not paying cash. So they won't run your credit. They're just gonna have a conversation with you um, until you're ready to buy, and then they will. And they'll walk you through the steps that it will take for the process and give you a general idea of your price range considering your debt to income ratio and a lot of other factors. And that way you won't be looking outside your price range of what's possible and spending unneeded hours looking in a different location or a different direction or in a price range that's not yours. So educate yourself as much as you can and find a local lender here in Asheville so that you are ready to rock and have all your ducks in a row when you are ready to go. And this will help you feel safe and secure in the process, as it can be a big transition for a lot of people. We have a full team here of professionals who are ready to help guide you on every single step through the process. So you will not be left out in the cold, don't worry. Okay, back to it, coffee shops. This is where the best intel is overheard. So head to a local coffee shop, and no, this is not a covert mission, it's just an excellent idea um, in a way to easily kind of get an idea of what people are talking about. So no need to be creepy. We're just embracing our inner Sherlock Holmes and gathering info on what makes Ashevillians tick. So spend some time just hanging out and take it slow, read a book, chill out for a minute and live like a local and be a part of it all. So we do a lot of hanging out at coffee shops here. At least I do. It's kind of like my office away from my office. And this is where I find that I feel the most immersed in the local scene. So if you spend an hour or two just being still and paying attention, you will find out more than you'd ever imagine about what people are interested in here and talking about. It truly is fascinating. And then there's the subject of schools. And this is one of the most often asked questions that I get. So talk to me about the school systems here. So if you're a parent or plan to be, then set up meetings with the schools that you like or are interested in or in neighborhoods that you're interested in. They are typically happy to arrange meetings or even tours. So make sure that you inquire about unique programs like art or Spanish immersion programs or special needs opportunities. We have a highly rated school system here in Buncombe County. So check it out online, look at the ratings and see, it, see what works for your family and your specific needs. And also join Facebook groups. There's one called Families Moving to Asheville and it's a wonderful resource to ask questions or 
gather information and meet other families that are also coming to the area. If you're gonna live here and fitness and well-being is important to you, I think it would be smart to see what that experience might look like for you in Asheville. So Asheville takes wellness seriously. Whether it's yoga or CrossFit or hip hop or belly dancing or contra dancing, there's a spot for you to kind of break a sweat and ponder life's mysteries. So seek out these classes. Go try one. There's a lot of places have a trial class that you can do. And see, you know, who's there and what the locals are like, because this is where they are. This is their they're living their daily lives right here. So you might you find yourself experiencing a whole new way to stimulate your love for moving your body that fires you up and gets new ideas rolling. It makes you want to, you know, figure out why we're such a happy bunch of people here. It's probably because we like to move our bodies in ways that we enjoy. The nature of Asheville's eclectic spirituality and all-encompassing welcoming environment for all practices and beliefs and religions is another drawing point for a lot of people. So Asheville's spiritual landscape is a rainbow of beliefs. So whether you're Baptist or Methodist or Catholic or Muslim or Hindu, you're welcome. And we also have uh, Jubilee, which is a non-denominational church that welcomes all types of people and a Unitarian Universalist Church and the Center for Spiritual Living, which is dedicated to all those that seek to express their divine nature in a peaceful and loving and joyous way without regard to age or race or cultural family circumstances or religious background. And as you may have heard or felt, Asheville is also an energy vortex. So many spiritual seekers are drawn to the area and you'll find a multitude of retreat centers in the mountains, some with like natural springs and beautiful scenery. And they have programs that really stimulate your inner peace and like cause you to look inward. So the city embraces it all and you're bound to find your cosmic crew. So what's another way that you can experience what it would be like to live here? Go on a date night, even if it's with yourself. I date myself, haha, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I take myself on dates every so often because I find myself pretty good company and you can too. So whether you're with someone or not, hey, go for it. So prepare yourself and make a reservation for a memorable date night. You could start at a rooftop bar. You can indulge in five-star cuisine and you could dance like nobody's watching because probably they're not. <laughs> They're all boogieing right alongside of you. So Asheville's nightlife is like a pop-up circus and you're the ringmaster. You choose your own adventure and just surrender and see where the night unfolds. And I guarantee you, if you are open enough, you will meet some colorful characters and you will have some interesting conversations for sure. And you will connect in ways that you would have never imagined. It never ceases to amaze me, all the stories that I've heard and all the people that I've met and the friendships and the connections that I've developed here in Asheville. And even though I have left and explored and traveled the world, the people at this place are the thing that I miss the most. So try to experience this when you're here. It is one of the most important parts about living in Asheville. Oh, and there's one last thing I can't forget to tell you, but first I wanna let you know, we get calls and texts and emails every single day from people like you who are looking to move to Asheville and we absolutely love it. So reach out any way you want. All the links are provided down below and we'll happily guide you through the process and find the right home for you. And if you'd like to learn more about Asheville in general, be sure to hit that subscribe button, do it, and activate that bell so that you can be alerted every time we make a new video for you. So after you have done it all, there is one last thing you have to do. For the grand finale, you have to have a picnic on the Blue Ridge Parkway at sunset. It's the perfect way to bid adieu to your Asheville homework adventure and witness a breathtaking sunset over the Blue Ridge Mountains. And there are plenty of outlooks and overlooks like the Hog Creek Overlook that are easy to get to and easily accessible and the views are stunning. So when you look out over these purple and blue mountains with the lush green foreground, you'll know if this is the right place for you. And if not, we welcome you back anytime you wish. So there you have it. That's your Asheville homework guide. Asheville isn't just a place, it's a lifestyle. With eclectic and eccentric people and a love for nature and affinity for craft beer and Asheville might embrace the weird and cherish the beauty and welcome you to the Asheville family where everybody's a little offbeat and perfectly content with it. Until then, enjoy it all and ciao for now.